Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Hit the subscribe button and click on the bell icon to get notification instantly. In this video, we will see how to create a script from scratch. In the previous video, we have seen how to create first JavaScript, which is nothing but a protector test and that we did only copy paste. So let's create another script. So what I will do, I will go and create another file and maybe if you wish, we can go ahead and create a fresh package first or folder called uh, day two and then we will create another script. So I will create, let's say second test dot js file. Now let's start from scratch. I will write des and just write control space. So you will see uh, we have two options. So one is which is not asking anything. It's just a keyword. And the second word uh, like second describe is nothing but an actual function which have two arguments. Okay. One is the description which is nothing but what exactly your test is what what exactly your test will do. And another is nothing but a spec definition. So here we will write a function. This describe is coming from the Jasmine. Okay. So let's double click on it. In the description part, we will give uh, this is my second protector test. And uh, that's all. Function. Okay. Function is like you need to implement the function this. This function you need to implement. And here exactly you need to write the particular steps or what exactly you want to perform so you start with it okay so it is a block again okay and uh, what exactly this it will do it will ask you what exactly this step is and what exactly this step will do so again same thing you need to give a description and a function again so just double click on it just write the description so this description i will say this application will add two numbers so i will show you what exactly we are going to do now we have an application ready here okay so this application is nothing but a calculator when you right click on this application and inspect so what you will get here when you let's say inspect this you will see some more attributes called ng model you can see class ng valid ng dirty ng touched ng stand for angular gist okay so you can see these are the special or i would say uh, um, different attributes we have for angular gist applications which protector help us to identify these additional attributes in a similar way if i go and select this this also has this ng model and in a similar way if you go this go button also have additional uh, this id and uh, ng click and finally you will see here this also having a binding so what we will do um, okay what i will do some calculation here and we'll try to capture the text okay so if you see this particular uh, section this is a binding and uh, if you just let's say 2 plus 5 okay this is ng writing okay so we'll use this class to capture the text okay so let's get started what we will do first uh, this is our describe method this is the actual test suite and this is the steps so here first I will start the browser okay now what is browser here so now this browser is coming from protector Okay. It's not coming from Jasmine. So browser is as of now you can consider it as a variable Which we will be using it throughout our test. This will handle the complete execution or it will handle or Or I will say it will Help you to control the browser now it will now we have a get method now the get uh, get method is similar to what we have seen in selenium you can see get window handle get capabilities get current URL every single method which we have in selenium uh, like when we work with java same you will get here so here i will give the destination 
destination as we know we are going to use this particular okay, let me close this now what we need to do once we start now we need to type so when you go ahead and inspect this element you can see this ng model right and you can also see a few more attributes here like type and uh, many more right so if i type browser okay so as anyways browser is started now we need to interact with web element so just type element okay you can again see this element is coming from um, protector site so you just see this last one which will ask you the locator as well so by is again a, a global variable here okay which will help you to see the multiple locators which we have so when you say by dot okay you can see again we have bindings we have add locators we have id name class name partial long text everything and these are the special uh, locators which we have which you will only get with protector okay so here we have one uh, locator called binding okay and we also have a model here if you just come here this model so whatever model you will give now if you come here and see this is ng model right so this is model locator which we have I will just pass here and as usual send keys works here as well so when i say send keys it will ask you what exactly you want to enter so i will say five you can see how easy it is okay it will take some time for you to get familiar with the syntax but when you move uh, like when you start writing the scripts it's not that tough okay so again i will go by dot model what model or locator then again send keys and that's all so similarly for second one let's see what exactly we have so we have model as second and send keys as five now you need to click on this right so now if you go ahead and see for this go button we have ng click okay we have id as well we have class so you can use anything let's continue with uh, id so again i will say element um, by dot id okay just pass the id and say dot click okay that's all and let's see if I need when I press 5 plus 5 okay. now you can see this class has one tag called binding right so either we can use this class name or this binding okay. so just right click and I will say expect now expect is nothing but uh, you can say uh, we are putting assertion okay and uh, this is actually again coming from the Jasmine so we are not this is not from the um, protector side so when you say is expect and uh, again when you expect you need to provide what exactly you want to expect right so what we will do will try to capture this value first okay and good thing about protector is let's say when you give certain uh, values it takes some times to load the result right so in protector you don't have to give weight weight it will be taken care automatically so we'll write again expect uh, element dot uh, okay so this is element actually now we need class class name we will write ng binding now if you remember in selenium we have a method called get text which will capture the text and then now we are expecting what value so i'm expecting a value okay so once it will see when i enter 5 plus 5 i'm expecting 10 this is what my 
expect is it means this is my assertion expect is a expectation which is nothing but a assert statement so this are inbuilt function which expect uh, certain values so it takes an input called the actual okay and it is chained with the matches function which takes the expected so this is the expected internally this will calculate and this is the expected value so our script is done now we need to go ahead and make this configuration file so again i will go back and i will say i want to run day two and my test name is second test dot js s kept small so i have second test dot js and this is our selenium hub which is up and running now i will go here this is the same thing and this time again i will run protector config.js file and you can see session is getting created this is starting okay it, it executed quickly actually it was too fast okay it failed here a white field let's see it says expect is not a function okay okay guys so we missed this semicolons okay so in protector you need to always understand until you don't get the semicolons it will not finish this promise in protector everything is nothing but a promise okay so we need to finish this promise first using semicolon and we need to end this describe method as well now let's run this again get started and again it failed let's see get text is not a function Okay, so I made a small mistake here. So we were putting uh, parenthesis here, but ideally we need to close this here. Then only we'll get the result, right? So the whatever results we'll get, it should be equal to 10. So previously we were making mistake like this and we were closing here. See in Java when you start working with Java, Java will start giving compilation error, but here it will not give. So when we were running this time, so it was giving get get text is not a function right so ideally once you are done with this finding locator part then you need to call this get text and finally you need to close it then only you will get the result and then we are comparing with uh, 10 okay so now let's run this again and you will see it will start and it will do calculation it is you can see automated waiting until the result is not coming it is keep on waiting as soon as the result come it valid and it is closing the browser okay now one question should come into my mind like how it is closing the browser even though i have not written okay that we will see in the upcoming videos how it is uh, taking all this closing the test after every it or uh, how it is closing if you don't want to close what we need to do so we'll discuss one by one now when we say 5 plus 5 it is giving 10 it is passing now let me change it to 20 now definitely 10 is not equal to 20 so ideally this should fail again right so let me clear the previous thing and let's run this again okay it is running it will do this calculation 5 plus 1 it is automated waiting and executed and it failed how it failed you can see here when we run it gives all this information and you can see expected 10 but equal to 20 now one more thing you need to notice this this web element right it says more than one element found for the locator by css selector ng binding it means this okay so what they're telling the first result will be used 
now you just have to give a small attention here this ng binding which we have taken okay so if i open that yeah so we have taken this ng binding right so when i try to search ng binding i am getting 26 matching node so if you see the first ng binding is nothing but our h2 which we are getting result then if we keep on going then we have this ng binding which is nothing but a td then we have this all are nothing but a t uh, like ng binding so protector is clearly mentioning that uh, we will be using the first result will be used that is the reason it is able to capture all this okay so congratulations once again for your second script and now we have seen so just a small recap describe is a function or i will say um, it's a jasmine function which asks what exactly your tests will do and you need to write a function and then you have to start with it it is again a jasmine function it will also ask you what exactly your steps will do and with a function browser is a variable which comes from protector and if you just click on this you will get protector documentation and you can go through the protector documentation as well these all things can, comes under browser so all these parameters methods everything you will find here and then okay so we use driver dot find element in selenium here we use element okay so this element is also coming directly from protector you need to provide the locators so we have model locator we have binding locators okay, so these all are coming from protectors and keys clicks these are just the methods directly from selenium expect again is coming from jasmine which will work as an assertion so two equals is a method okay which will compare actual versus expected if this actual versus expected is match it will pass otherwise fail okay so we'll see how to generate report everything okay that's all i have for this video and guys if you like my videos then uh, you can subscribe to my channel this is my channel where i have uploaded uh, uploaded on the different tools and i keep uploading uh, videos on different automation tools and technologies which will be coming in future so if you would like to receive videos directly to your mailbox you can click on the subscribe button and uh, you can also click on this bell icon so that you will get the notification okay thank you so much guys have a nice day